going on, world? I go by the name of Jabari right now. I am with, to me, the biggest independent artist, hip-hop ever. Uh, mm-hmm. Tech Nine, and you can check the record books on that, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Trust me, trust me. Yeah. Tech Nine, what's going on, man? I'm kicking it like a donkey, swinging it like a monkey here at the Rock the Bells Festival, man. You know, I'm sizzling. It's a big thing for us to be on this tour because a lot of people out there don't know us, man, and it's turning them on to us. And us being independent, no video, no radio, just selling... Um, over a million collectively, man, you know what I'm sizzling, is making everybody look our way. And this is a beautiful thing that we're right here right now with yeah. you, bro. Now, tell me, Tech, man, the, the album Killer is the, the one that went went platinum. Uh-huh. Um, how come, you know, I, especially online and, you know, on the blogs and on the radio and on the video, you know, it's like it's almost like your presence is, is not strong there. But when you have shows and when you're on your solo yeah. thing, doing your solo tour, you have packed houses, man, yeah. packed crowds. Yeah. How are you able to do that, man? How are you able to do it by yourself and, and no major? The reason why we're able to do that, go to Denver and get 6,000 people, over 6,000 people at Red Rocks, um, go to any of the House of Blues all around the country and sell them out, is because of our touring. You know what I'm saying? We tour like a rock band. What I mean by that is we tour extensively, man. We tour a whole bunch. And uh, we go to those places where they might not know us, and we build it. And we've been building it for years, and that's longevity, man. You know what I'm sizzling? We don't just have a hit on the radio, and then you don't hear from us forever again. You know what I'm sizzling? I, I ain't knocking the cats who have the one hit, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm sure they're kicking it off that one hit. But it's like our stuff, if it happens to pop on the radio, we already got a massive following, man. So our stuff would be more like the Grateful Dead following. You know what I mean? But, yeah, but, still, but, it, but it's like Jay... Garcia still be here to enjoy the few fruits of his labor. You feel me? Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's going down lyrically. It's going down musically and spiritually at Strange Music. No doubt, man. Um, you know, you I would be, you know, I, I would consider you as somewhat of a rapper's rapper. You know what I mean? A lot of artists know who you are. Yeah, yeah, Whether yeah. it be, you know, the people, the masses might not. Well, the masses obviously do because they're coming out by the millions to buy the album. But, um... But it, it, it just seems like, you know, when I'm back here talking to artists, I'm seeing everybody, everybody's like, yo, where's Tech 9 at? You know what I mean? Like, yo, did you see, did you catch Tech 9 set? And I'm just like, every artist knows you. Every artist knows you. have worked with so many artists, man. You know, talk a little bit about that. Well, we got flow, man. It ain't just, it ain't just, you know, most cats, when they got a stage show, they really hiding that they can't rap. We got flow, man. All of us. We pride ourselves on it. You know what I'm sizzling? And I think that's what a lot of MCs respect. Even if it's a little weird. Even if it's a little peculiar. Like, what the hell is this nigga doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, he got his face painted, man. What the hell wrong with him? But they listening. You know what I'm saying? They listening because we have lyrics. So they appreciate it. What the fans appreciate is that we have a lot of things in life in common. You know what I'm saying? With me and my fans, a lot of my fans, they love my pain. I've been through a lot of it. Self-inflicted pain a lot. You know what I'm saying? Being stupid in a lot of ways. And I rap about it. I ain't afraid to rap about it. And that's how me and my fans connect. But all my collaborations with when I do stuff with Crooked Eye or when I do stuff with Chino XL or Crazy Bone or Twista or, you know what I'm saying, D12, whoever it may be. You know what I'm saying? Mims, Paul Wall, you got what I mean, man. And it's like all of us connect lyrically, man. And that's what we have in common. That's why you can find me on tour with all these lyrical cats on Rock the Bells is a big thing. It's letting me know we got lyrics in common. Talib Kweli, we got lyrics in common. You know what I'm saying? Tech Nine and Super Nat, we got lyrics in common. Tech Nine and Karis One, we got lyrics in common. Because it's just more than just, you know... Dr. Seuss, you know what I mean? Even if it's a little speedy sometimes. Pistol packing the money, mac and rapping about the city with killers, keep it cracking too dark and gritty, back in the dizzy jack and what's happening, got a little mini cackling. Even though it's a little speedy sometimes, musical overload, it's lyrics coming out of there. You know what I mean? It's gonna be the middle finger album to all those people who shun me because of my imagery, who shun me because of my content, who shun me for being different. Oh, I'm going to really make them mad on this one. 